Oh, those 75 years in gospel music have been wonderful. I have been blessed, oh, doubly blessed. And I'm glad you have uh, celebrated this with me. Uh, not too long ago, this year, in fact, the Gaither Homecoming Magazine. See that magazine, Gaither Homecoming Magazine, put out, of course, by Bill and Gloria Gaither, honored me with another honor, and it just, uh, it just illustrated all the wonderful blessings that have been mine. When I read, the, when I saw this Hall of Honor page on the back of this Gaither Homecoming Magazine, and read the things that they listed, it reminded me again of God's favor on my 75 years. Wow, have I spent a favored life and God gets the glory. To God be the glory. I'm gonna read what they put here in the magazine though. It takes my breath away and I wanna share it with you and we'll, we'll praise God together for it. In 1969, this is, this is called Milestones and this is what the Gaithers wrote and it's kind of very beautiful, very sweet, very generous. 1969, a milestone, Lou Hildreth became the first woman to uh, have a, a talent agency, a gospel, to own a gospel artist agency. And of course, that was Nashville Gospel Talent. When uh, Howard and I relocated from Fort Worth, Texas to Nashville, Tennessee, and yes, 1969, and I was the first woman to own a gospel agency. And uh, you know what? I've got to stop and quote a, Chris, a, a scripture here. Uh, when I think about that, my favorite scripture is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, you'll find that in Philippians. And did I need that scripture when I was doing that gospel talent agency? But those were good years, and I made some wonderful, long-time friendships. So thankful for that. Well, let's see if there's something else here. 1998, wow, I didn't realize it had been that long. 1998, I was inducted into the Texas Gospel Music Hall of Fame. That's a, a, a place that's very dear to me. Texas Gospel Music Hall of Fame. My nephew, Randy Wills, is president of that now. And uh, I love him and appreciate what he's doing there. 1998, though, I was inducted and I'm very honored that, that I was. 2004, uh, I received an honorary doctorate from uh, LBU, a doctorate of sacred music an honorary doctorate and was a wonderful honor. And I, I appreciated that. That's 2004. 2005, this is, this is a really, really top honor. 2005, my induction into the GMA Hall of Fame, that's there in Nashville, the Gospel Music Association Hall of Fame. And, uh, and I received that induction there and and the Gaithers were so gracious. Bill, Bill came in his in his plane, flew in from a vacation somewhere to uh, oversee the induction, and uh, and said very nice words. And we had big laugh to the uh, the audience laughed too about Mark Lowry and my connection because when I had that first agency, Mark Lowry was probably one of the first people I signed to that agency. So he, he got a, a big laugh out of the audience there in Nashville when he was inducting me in 2005, talking about uh, my connection with Mark Lowry. And I love that. You know, on my website, there is a uh, clip and you can uh, uh, see the video of that induction when Bill Gaither inducted me into the GMA Hall of Fame, Nashville. That website, of course, is www.louhildreth.com. That's my website, louhildreth.com. And click on that and see that induction into the GMA Hall of Fame 2005. Well, here's another one. Wow, 2007, that was a big day. 
That's the day that I was inducted into the SGMA, the Southern Gospel Music Hall of Fame in Dollywood. And, uh, and as usual, my family all came. They came to Nashville for the other induction. And do, they came in the bus loads, a bus load or two of Will's family from Fort Worth, Texas, some family from Nashville, some family from Denver, Colorado, uh, came for the big day in 2007 when uh, I was inducted into the SGMA Hall of Fame in Dollywood. That was a day, quite an exciting day. And in 2008, uh, right here in, in the Texas area, near my hometown, uh, at, uh, the Christian Music Hall of Fame uh, inducted me, and I was very, very honored to be uh, inducted into the Christian Music Hall of Fame. Well, okay, and I want to talk about one other thing. I have two things I want to share with you. These are kind of kind of very recent honors, but they meant so much to me. Uh, the Southern Gospel Music Guild, that's an organization out of Nashville that I helped start. So I'm very proud of it. It's established to uh, make the whole world, but particularly the industry, aware of all the great things that are going on in Southern Gospel music. Well, in 2010, at the National Quartet Convention, the Southern Gospel Music Guild gave me the Lifetime Achievement Award. And, and Judy Nealon also received that. And uh, that's a dear friend who's very, very deserved honor for her to, to get that honor. And yes, I was thrilled to be awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award by the Southern Gospel Music Guild. So that's fairly recent. But then just, just very recently, the Gaithers came to Fort Worth, Texas. And, and being on that homecoming stage uh, there at Fort Worth with all those homecoming friends was pretty exciting. And I loved it, but Bill Gaither had a surprise for me, and I didn't know this. He had it set up. It was very, very sweet and very generous of him and very kind and gracious. So on that last, you know, when you've been to the Gaither Homecoming concerts, on that last segment, everybody gets on stage together. And uh, so, I, so uh, they put me right up there on the front row of the, on the stage and uh, right by Bill Gaither, and, uh, and uh, that was pretty, pretty fun. And uh, just a few minutes into that last segment of the concert, of the homecoming concert, Bill Gaither surprised me by singing a song to me. But he set it up good, because he does know uh, what audiences love, and that huge audience in Fort Worth, just love this, because so sentimental. Uh, Howard, my husband, Howard, was sitting right down on the front row. So he, Bill talked to him, he said, Howard, uh, you tell me how old you are. And Howard admitted to being 86 years old. And then he said, how long have you and Lou been married? And so Howard told him, 65 years. So uh, Bill had some sweet, precious, uh, comments to say about that. And he said, Lou, I'm not asking you how old you are. And I said, and I probably told him, but it didn't matter. The big surprise was, he said, I got a song I'm going to sing to you. So the song he sang was so appropriate for the times that, that Howard and I are living in now. We know we're in these golden years and I know that celebrating these 75 years in gospel music has been, I know it's been God's favor and God's blessing and God's calling on my life. But it's so sweet to know that God's going to be right with all of us and, and to hear Bill Gaither sing those sentimental words call, and the title of that song, he and Gloria wrote it and it's so, so appropriate. 
though autumn's coming on. So right there for all of the people at the big Gaither Homecoming concert, he sang a special song. And uh, here's a picture taken at that very special moment when Bill Gaither sang, Though Autumn's Coming On, that the crowd at that uh, Gaither Homecoming concert loved that uh, t moment because it's so sentimental. Though Autumn's Coming On, that's a song that Bill and Gloria wrote years ago, but it expresses where I am at this time of life, these are the golden years, and I know that, but I believe that God will just stay right with us. He has already blessed me all these years. He's blessed my calling and my commitment, and I do give him the glory, and he knows that. God knows our heart, and I trust him, though autumn's coming on. I trust him with the future. So thank you for all of the 75 years celebration. I'm so love sharing this with you. And here's that special moment when Bill Gaither sang a song to me especially. Very fitting at the close of this season of life. And I thank all of the people who have been so good to me over these years.